let's start with the simplest question we possibly can, which is simply this. How are you feeling? The adrenaline is, is slowly running out, yeah. but at the same time, it's now gone from, it's gone from adrenaline of like, ah, to, ah, to, ah. okay. Yeah, I don't think you could summarise it better than that. Yeah. yeah. Sort of riding down the wave. Yeah, Post riding down the wave. It, yeah, was a, it, it was a superstar moment. It was a spectacular example of not just your success, but Bloodstock's success as well, and what Bloodstock is all about, which oh, is God, about yeah. bands growing and growing and seeing how you perform. Mm. When you take me back to the invite, to the moment, they said, hey, come back. Can't exactly, because it does involve me talking with Simon. No, no, fuck it. No, it does involve me talking with Simon about Mankinis. Um, but no, si so Simon called me up and straight up this was like this wasn't even a case of like oh it was a recent thing like Simon called me up in September and was incredible so I'm not going to beat around the bush I want you on Sophie yeah that's it I want you on Sophie and all four all, all four of us just I think it was a simple WhatsApp message to everyone else like let, let like not in a way okay, let me double check it was very much a case of guys guys so I was like, let, uh, let me ask. I'll confirm because we, you know, we want to make sure everyone's everyone's available. Everyone's all good. We need, we need to we need to be professional about it. Uh, but all four of us just went like, what? It's okay. Yes, please. Did you immediately know at the time where you were playing? Because obviously we're talking he, about the so original. Yeah, the original. Yep, yeah, absolutely. That was the. We, he told us the original slot. Simon gave us the original slot, and we we just. Like, it wasn't even a case of like, oh, you know, maybe we'll think about it. It was like, I'll eat it out your fucking hand. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And it was, I think for all of us, it was just... Overwhelming? Is that the it, uh, wait, yeah. I think that was the word. I mean, we loved it so much last year. So to be invited to go out the next year was incredible. So. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, Ben's, Ben's nailed it. It's like... We loved it last year. It was, it's an honour to be brought back and to be given the kind of trust to, be, not in a way to be like, oh, you know, you know, you've been like, not in a way like, oh, you know, you've been gigging for years now. Do you want to come back? It was like, no, no, we trust you to come back the year after and and do the right thing. And then of course the exchange, and then the exchange. And talk me through that. What, did you initially have? Because there must have been a, a part of you that had a little disappointment purely because of being the, the first band of Open Bloodstock oh, that, it would have been quite a moment. All, again, we all talked, all four of us talked about it and, and it, like, whatever, blood, whatever Simon, whatever the Bloodstock mm -hmm. crew needs, we would, like, we pride ourselves on being the utmost professional yeah. permanently, like permanently. So... It's like whatever Simon says, it was like, if you need it, we'll do it. Like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Matter, yeah. We don't matter what spot it is. Yeah, and we yeah, were, we were, and we wanted to do it. It was an honor to do it. And, but it was one of those moments of like, ah, oh, but we really want to do it Thursday. And then we all talked with each other and went, oh, wait. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I think collectively, we were like, we would rather do this out though. Yeah. Like, it's, uh, there's going to be more people bit, here. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, basically yeah. that's more the idea. More potential to like fill out the tent rather than everyone getting here sort of late Thursday, setting up their camp mm. and stuff. So, yeah, like I said, we would have been happy to play whatever slot they gave us. But, that's what we want to hear. Yeah. Did you concern yourself in any way with seeing who you were up against, clashes or anything like that? Uh, yes, but the reason why we did was because there's a couple of bands that we really wanted to uh, see. Okay, <laughs> you actually get to enjoy yourself. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. Like, like... We wanted, like all of us were desperate to see Earn. We were desperate to see Seath and Akira, our babes and Seath and Akira. They were amazing. And we were desperate to see the Grey, who were just before us. Yeah. Fuck me, they were so good. But there's, you know, it was one of, you know, an employee, sadly we missed Employee to Serve. Like we really wanted to see Employee to Serve, but it was one of those ones of going like, look, we want to make sure that we, not, you know, we want to make sure that when we give our best, we want to give our best. And it was like, what what time do you want us? What's the best time yep. for us to be the best that we can be? You felt, you felt, dare I say, you owed Bloodstock this level of loyalty? Oh God, yeah, God, yeah. Like yeah. not even, not even a sense of being like, oh, we know maybe, kind of. It's like, fuck yes. Like we wanted, we, they trusted us to come back and do it again. So yeah. for us with this, it wasn't even a moment of going like, yeah, no, no, we're good enough. We can do it. It's like, no. No, 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 no. If Bloodstock, if Simon, 
if the Bloodstock crew trust us enough to come back and like Vicky and, and Alan, if they go, if all of the if the Hungerford trusted us to come back and do it again, we've got to come back and and bring the fucking yeah. warfare. Like we have got to bring the full bore chaos. And you did. And fans are naturally humble, right? Naturally, you're going to be humble. And you're going to say, hey, well, it's great that we've earned this and we've done this and so on and kind of thing. But there's a reason they brought you back. There is a reason. <laughs> you're here again can you tell me can you put your finger on what right now because for me it feels like Tribe of Ghosts are on an incredibly high trajectory can you tell me what 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 what, what made Bloodstock go bring you back we I'll be honest we have worked our asses off yeah like they are not and not in a way to be like you know oh, we've, we've really worked hard like we've worked yeah. really hard with um and we're, we're, the entirety of what Tribe is, is connection and catharsis. It is, and I'm not saying that to be pretentious, it is when we play shows, when we play gigs, when we've, when we've learned who we are and, and what we want to do, it's, it's connection, it's catharsis. We throw everything out on the stage and not in a way of going, we want to bring the best show for everyone. It's, this is therapy for us. Tribe is therapy. So for us to be able to go out and, and, throw every inch of ourselves on the stage and in everything we do we are we put everything into it we've been working with uh, Tony at Dark Mother Management so Tony's uh, now our manager and has been working with us for the last few months it's been incredible with putting us with putting us in places to and to help us really define who we are yeah. and, and not in a way to say like, oh no, you have to do this. You have to. We're going to work on that. She's going like, who? Who are you? Yeah. What is tribe? And it's that. Our music is. It's angry. It's. It's. It's chaos. It's all it is. But. So you think you know who you are, man? You confident you can say who tribe of ghosts are? Tribe of. We know that. In we know that if what tribe of ghosts is is connection and catharsis. That's yeah. whatever it is in sound. Whatever it is in performance. It's whatever the hell it is that we want to do. Yeah. But if I think music-wise, it's anything goes. Like we just want to write songs that we enjoy playing, and hopefully other people do as well. So that's our main objective. Yeah. If we don't, if and it's that, it's that we want to enjoy it and we want to have fun. And if we don't, if we don't connect with it, if it's not a release, then it's not a tribe song. And did you have a moment on stage today where you were able to look out and take it in? Because it's a short amount of time, it flies by, you're done, it's over. Did you have that moment where you not only got to reflect on how everyone's behaving in the audience, but how you have got there? Oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I think all of all four of us can just say that that was, that was exactly what we wanted. Yeah? And there was there was some stuff. There was some stuff that went wrong a little bit. Oh, did it? Okay. This on our on our Only side. Things, yeah. Oh, minor things. It meant that there meant that there were points where uh, purely it was it purely it was something. There was stuff that went a little bit wrong, but it was also as well at the same time. We've we've gigged, we've toured, we've put the work in. So for us, it's never a case of going like, oh, what do we do? We're, we've got to panic. We've got to stop the gig. It's like no, 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 no. This is chaos. We live in chaos. Let's Shit. fucking do it. Basically, right, so this isn't the pinnacle. This last year wasn't the pinnacle. So, what does the rest of 2023 look like for Tribe of Ghosts? That's uh, mm, uh, okay, uh, yeah. not, and not in a bad way, in yeah. a very, very exciting way that we can't say things just yet. There are going to be some, some things that are going to get announced yep. in the next couple of weeks, maybe, maybe in the next month. But there are some things that will be once they're greenlit and everything is greenlit. Uh, there is some very exciting things. Really? Okay, right. So can't talk about it at all. Can't talk about it just yet. Were you surprised by the incredible reaction? I mean, obviously, Sunburner uh, was a special track, and then of course, oh, God, uh, yeah. in short notice, mm. people coming to Bloodstock, of course, we have Hive. Have you been surprised by just the overwhelming love for those tracks? It's been a bit mad. Uh, we've, again, it, I think for I think for all of us, like all four of us, like in the band, it's. It's always been. We've always have. A, we always have a thing with the music that we write, and it's never a case of like, oh, we you know if you no know, one person likes it, or it's like maybe that's for this. It's like if all four of us do not like it, it does not happen. Right. Okay. It does not like if 
if one of us in the band is like, nah, I'm not up for it, fuck it. It does not happen. Yep. It's not in the set. It's not in the album. It's not in. It's not on whatever we do. Mm-hmm. Whatever. It's not on, you know. Not to say we have an album coming, but it's like if we were thinking of something. <laughs> shit, fuck that one. No, no, no. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, yeah, if yeah. anything comes up, if yeah. we are not all four of us 100% into it, it does not happen. Is it further sort of sum it up in the simplest way possible? The future isn't still as incredibly exciting as it's been so far. Oh, it's yes. It's going to it's going to be very mad. Because ultimately, the goal now is and challenge you want is okay. Cool, you've done two stages here, and you've gone to the bigger one. So there's no go back to the Jaeger. Nope. But it is the fourth, and it is the big one. Yeah. And uh, you What's know what? If if it's going to take a work, it's going to take work. But you know what? That is that is work that we're putting in now. Yeah. It's work that we're putting in in the future, and it's work that that tribe that all four of us as a tribe of ghosts will put in forever. It is all four, of, and it's not and not work in a way of going. I know, grafting. Ugh, it's like this is this is our release. This is our this is our catharsis. This is our therapy. We will put every inch of us into every fucking note we play. As a fan, a guy that's got to know you for the last 12 months, it's the craziest thing from Bloodstock last year, the introduction to you, to watch what you've done, to see you then get an Uprising next year. And be oh, it's so right good! And be a ticket seller as well. And, your, fa- and your favourite one. Yeah, Come yeah, on. I know. Come I know. On. I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be personal about it, but yes, okay, yeah. <laughs> but hopefully you're still on that bill and I can't oh, absolutely wait. Yeah. Yeah. And more gigs in the future, just doing what you're doing, keep cracking away. I have the utmost faith in you guys. We'll make you proud, I promise. I, I know you will, I know you will. And I'm so pleased to see what you did over there. Guys, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Thank you so much. Have a fucking time.